Okay. Ew. Okay. This is different and weird. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Talk Elvis. It's been a while. Count literally count how many times I've said that in the past, I don't know, two years? Craziness. Um, but I it is January. Actually, the day I'm filming this is January 8th. Um, so it is a very special day for us Elvis fans today. And I want to take this opportunity to sit down and really get intentional this year. Okay, you guys, I've been saying this. 2024 is going to be my year. I I can sense it. There's something in the air about 2024. I heard that it's an eight year. Like if you do the math or whatever and you add up the numbers, I don't know. Um, it adds up to the number eight. So it's an eight year. So you already know it's going to be great. Um, but I wanted to talk about Let's Talk Elvis in this video because I've been thinking about it. Um, obviously I've been thinking about how it's been lacking and how I haven't been doing many episodes and I've been really missing when I literally get this once upon a time did an episode a week while I was in college which honestly how did I do that I don't know um, but I was doing it and I really miss that because now I'm out of college I graduated and I'm working now which is a big reason of why I'm not posting so much because life is just crazy busy but there's one thing that I keep getting reminded of especially when it comes to like my Elvis stuff. And it's that if you don't stay on top of it, if you if you kind of let yourself fall out of something that you're so passionate about, um, it makes your life suck, okay? Cause I'm doing, I'm working every day. I come home, I'm like sleepy cause I've worked all day and I'm not prioritizing any of like my passions, which is kind of hard. So, I don't know, maybe this video will inspire some of you guys to get back into things that inspire you, things that motivate you, things that bring you joy, because it is so important in our everyday lives that we are giving ourselves that time to do what makes us happy. And this is what makes me happy. So I've been thinking about Let's Talk Elvis. I've been thinking about like more realistic ways that I can incorporate this series in my everyday life, in my new schedule as I'm adjusting to it, as is my life right now. And here's what I've come up with. So, um, I don't know. I feel like m m the series have kind of like shifted over the years that I've been doing it. Some of the videos are like super professionally made in my opinion. I work really hard on editing them. Um, a lot of like montages like within the videos and like a lot of editing involved, right? And I've talked to a lot of like Elvis content creators and I think like a lot of people would agree with me on this. Editing sucks. I mean, some people like editing, but I hate it. And it's probably one of the main reasons I don't make a lot of videos is because I'm like, well, I could sit down and talk all day. I'm really good at talking. I love talking. But then when it comes to editing, it's gonna take me 3000 years and I just don't have that time to do that. So then I was like, Mary, it doesn't have to be something specific. If you have something that you wanna put out and I would encourage everybody to kind of adopted this mindset like if you have something that you want to share there's no rules there is no one way to do what you want to do it does not have to be a so many second long video so many minute long video um that's edited a certain way obviously if you like that and that's like your vibe and your cup of tea go for it i know so many content creators that their videos are always like immaculate in the realm of editing and i look up to you and i commend you because that is not easy and that takes a lot of time um, but for me, what I really want to do is just talk about Elvis and I want to talk about Elvis with other people and I want to connect with other people. And that's kind of just like what I want my goal to be in 2024. So I'm kind of moving on from like the idea that my videos have to be a certain way and I'm just going to go with it. And it's just going to be more raw and real, um, type vibes. I'm thinking like video podcast. I'm thinking like, let's just talk. Let's just have... Um, let's talk Elvis, literally, like, sorry to be cheesy, but that's what I want this to be. So it's just going to be more of like talking about anything and everything, literally, like it, there's no, it doesn't all have to be like educational. It doesn't all have to be, there's no set like genre. Um, I just want to talk about anything and everything. And I want to talk about it, big thing, with you guys. So one of the things I want to incorporate into my show, my series, 
this upcoming year in 2024 is bringing on a lot more friends, a lot more guests, people I look up to, people I admire, people that are absolutely every day, utterly killing it and rocking it in the Elvis world, no matter what you're doing, people that I just like want to speak to and people, big thing that Elvis has connected me with. Um, so I'm going to start a little thing where I'm going to have guests on and um, I've been working on it for a while now and I'm really excited. I have a huge long guest list. You might be on it, who knows? If you wanna come on and talk with me, DM me, let me know because I'll gladly add you to the list and I would love to talk about Elvis with you. But I think like whenever I do get the chance to talk about whatever in the Elvis world with other people, I always leave that like happy and like feeling like I just, I don't know, feeling like I, I realize a little bit more I'm thinking about things in different ways I'm being like impacted by other people's thoughts about things and I think that's really important too to like just my learning and like journey in the Elvis world is just like sharing conversations with other people and talking about Elvis with other people so that's kind of just what I wanted Let's Talk Elvis to be in 2024 and we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes I'm gonna burp see and I'm not gonna edit that out I'm not going to edit it out. Obviously, we'll edit out some things. If, you, if you're if you on the show, you want me to edit things out, I will. Um, also, calling it a show is new because I've never called it a show. But, um, and that might be cringy. That might be cringy, but I'm going to try it because I feel like the vibes I'm going for is like talk show vibes. You know what I mean? Um, that's so funny because in high school, I got voted most likely to host their own talk show. Uh, and look at where you are now Mary so they knew me in high school not gonna lie but anyways that's kind of all I have to say um here's to more content you know what I mean I say that a lot but I'm really really going to try to stick to that this year um and so yeah happy January 8th to all who celebrate um I'm excited I'm excited for let's talk Elvis in 2024 I'm excited to just be talking with all of you guys um and yeah so yeah new episode will be up soon I haven't quite like gotten a schedule yet but ideally we would like it to be we me I would like it to be like one every two weeks maybe um we'll see because if I'm having other people on obviously we have to go through their schedules and things like that too so um maybe a guest not every time but definitely a guest most of the time I think that would be fun um, but yeah, so that's all I have to say. Love you guys. Love you, Elvis. Can't wait for 2024. It's going to be our year, okay? It's going to be our year. Us Elvis fans, we're going to have a great 2024, okay? All right. I'll see you guys soon. Let's talk Elvis together in the new year. And uh, I'll see you later. All right. Bye. Love you.